<laughs> okay. Um, no, I, I believe, uh, personally, I, I really don't feel that much commitment to owning my own work as solitary author with my name on every page. But I recognize the importance and the need, you know, in tenure systems and recognition systems in corporate systems in the world to have that sort of ownership. Martine Reif and I recently did a book, um, Copyright, W-R-I-T-E, um, which really attends to what happens um, in the classroom, how we implicate ourselves and how we implicate students in intellectual property issues, especially when we're having them craft multimodal work. And then Martine and I are working on a second collection right now called uh, Cultures of Copyright. And I'm really interested about this in, in this book um, because we're going... Um, much more broad beyond composition and hopefully speaking to the humanities more broadly um, in a context of digital humanities studies and this next wave of humanities computing work. So um, I just did a talk yesterday that for me helps kind of frame the importance of culture and attending to culture in intellectual property issues and I actually wasn't talking about copyright, I was talking about trademarking. Um, and specifically talking about a 1998 act that President Clinton, yeah, I just said Napster's too old, now I'm talking about 98. It's a 1998 public law that uh, Clinton signed in, part of which was requiring the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office of the Department of Commerce to conduct a study on how to better um, protect Native American symbols and insignia. Because, That's you know, really as, cool. Yeah, as we all know, I mean, the, the 80s were an absolute gold rush for Native American uh, language, words, even customs, and especially symbols and icons. So everyone's grabbing them up, putting them on the back of trucks, you know, mascots, all that. So this was a response to that. What happens when people take an, a Native culture's you know, symbol that's been in practice and in process in the culture for hundreds of years and trademark it and claim ownership over it? Um, so I was talking about that process and um, the public hearings that resulted as part of the public act and the specific response of some academics to it. So I think that's going to be like a next interesting thread in IP stuff when we, so we've got copyright issues that are interesting, you know, and fair use of course. Um, and I think we need to keep talking and being activists and researching that. But I think looking at patenting invention processes and then trademarking and uh, branding processes is going to be interesting work in the next couple of years.